What is going on, friends? Wel 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 welcome back to another video. We're here in the kitchen where we do all the challenge videos. We did the dart video. We did a wheel video in the last month, and y'all have been loving these videos. So I'm back with another one. If y'all have yet to join the channel, this is uh, one of my challenge videos. Typically, we're out in the farm. We got three acres, a lot of animals. And I suggest, if you're not already, subscribe down below, hit the subscribe button, and smash the like button on this video. Without further ado, though, I got the wheel. We got the wheel again. We're just gonna be spinning it, and whatever we land on, we go get. All the stuff on this wheel is actually stuff that I want for my aquarium, or pond, or in this case it would be just aquarium. Except for this time we got a little bit of a twist on it. This is saltwater edition. Saltwater edition, we've done a ton of spin the wheels on my channel, and this one in particular is the first edition one we've done. So I want to ask you a question. Drop something down below in the comments down below. I'd love to communicate with you guys on an addition you want to see. For instance, a 4,000 gallon pond addition. Different additions we could do down in the comments down below. And I'll do some more videos on this wheel right here. Without further ado though, today is saltwater edition. We have a 160 gallon aquarium over there on the wall. And whenever we land on here tomorrow, we will be going and getting that exact thing. This is invertebrates as well. So not only is it saltwater edition, it's actually invertebrates edition. So we could do a saltwater video with fish on this and do that uh, as well. I always like to explain everything on the board or the dart wall. We did a video recently with the dart and that was awesome. Oh my, oh, it's literally, uh oh. I'm gonna explain everything on here, what it means so that when I land or if I land near it, you know exactly. I actually did a little bit of artwork on this one. I never do that, but I decided to switch it up a little bit. Start with random. So random is you pick. So I'm actually gonna probably put a post on my Instagram or something, at Paul Fair, if you don't follow me there, you get to become a part of the video every once in a while. For instance, if I land on this, I'm gonna put a poll on my Instagram, ask y'all what invertebrate I should get for the tank. Next is sea urchin. Sea urchins are super cool. It's that one thing that your parents always tell you to watch out for while you're in the salt water, you know, swimming around or walking in the beach or you don't want to step on one of these suckers. They're actually super, super sharp. If you couldn't tell, I mean, look at the artwork. You could see just how sharp that thing is. And on to the next is a sand flea. I actually used to use these as bait all the time. You catch them on the beach. For instance, I'm going to roll a quick clip of my boy Josh from Black to Page catching these and exactly what they look like. And I'll see you back here in just a second. Now, once you've raked them, you rinse it off. Look at that, guys. Look at that amazing bait. Shout out to Josh for the footage. I'm just going to have to text him that I used that. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's sand fleas. They're super cool, and they literally burrow themselves in the sand. Sand fleas, so like a flea in the sand. Snails is the next one. Snails. In this case, I would mean like Mexican turbo snails and other snails like that. Probably Mexican turbo snails is what we'll do. But those are super cool snails, and as you know, they're huge, massive. We have a couple of them in the tank already. Next one is a free spin. It means you just spin again. It's kind of like the anticipation thing where if it was to go like that, you're like, oh, okay, gotta spin again. That's why I put that on the board always. Add a couple question marks in there, make it a little interesting. On to the next is my phenomenal drawing of that. Now, if you had to guess, what would that be? That's a crab. Yep, that's a crab. Crab is the next thing. Worms. So I think with this one, we're obviously not going to get worms for the aquarium, but I wanted to put this on the board. With this, this is the last one, by the way, the last thing we could hit. I would get worms and actually feed the fish in the backyard live earthworms. Earthworms are the same worms you use as bait when you're catching, you know, bluegill, bass, sunfish, that type of thing. That is our entire board. And in just a second here, we are gonna be spinning that and hopefully landing on what I wanted to land on. Hmm. Crab. I love crabs. We just did an arrow crab video. We went snorkeling called an arrow crab. We've got a little bubbler on them just because I couldn't get home right away. And look at that thing. That was fun. If you didn't watch that video, you gotta check that out. I'll have the poll up here. Click that. Or I'll have it as one of the end screen videos so you don't have to leave this video right now to watch that. Crab is what I wanted to hit. If you had one pick, what would it be? Let me know that in the comments down below. Here's a look at the wheel. Let me know what you want to get. Here we go. I get hyped up for these videos. It's, it's 12.25 in the morning right now. Here we go. Simple as that, spin the wheel. Whatever we land on, we get. Nope. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, the anticipation. I was looking at it, it was just about to go. It was literally just about to go. We already got snails, which I would not mind getting some snails. I actually want some more snails. And it's, as a matter of fact, Tommy said I actually needed to get more snails. 
next time I was at the pet store. So that'd work out, because I gotta go there anyway. All right, attempt number two, here we go. Come on, give me something. Oh my gosh, dude. We landed on free spin again. Could you believe that? Sheesh. On to the next. SpongeBob is gonna be real proud of us. Meow. For real though, we landed on snails, so we missed out on the sand fleas just by one click, and one click this way would have been another free spin. I was looking forward to that one. We almost hit that. So we land on snails. Snails are what we are getting for the saltwater cram, but not only snails, because you know once we get to that fish store, we might see something else we want. Andy's store has loaded with a bunch of fish. Now, will I buy something else? I don't know. But Andy's store has a lot of different things that we can look at, regardless whether I buy something or not. It's gonna be an awesome time at Andy's store. So without further ado, I mean, I'm gonna go to sleep, because it's 1.30 in the morning, and I'll see you in the morning so that we can go get this stuff. We are here at the aquarium shop. We landed on snails, so not the most craziest thing we could have landed on, but something we definitely need for the aquarium. Again, everything I put on these wheels and these dartboards and all these cool videos I do, they're things we need. So. Oh, I thought that was Tommy. That's not Tommy. I need to get some more shrimp. Two more things of shrimp. Look how weird they look. Crazy how they look inside there. Two more things of shrimp. We have plenty of crab clusters for our eel. Just need this right now. That's a big tank right there. So many new fish. All the new fish. So many clowns. Clowns, clowns, clowns. There's also a big emperor right here. It's like pretty big. Look at the size of that thing. If I had a predatory tank, you'd be coming home with me. For sure. He actually has a lot of fish in stock right now. Like compared to at least compared to normal. Look at all these. All along here too. So many Dory. Oh, she's gone. She, she's, she's gone. The music's bumping. Andy's bumping. He's gonna get me copyrighted. If I had a big old saltwater reef tank. I have a 160 gallon, but I'm talking big. That, that right there is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Now you're not giving me your side profile? There we go. Holy moly, dude. Look at that thing. And there they are. Turbos. Mexican turbo snail. And he's got a little freshwater side too, and there's sword tails. Y'all know I know my Mollies and Platties, and I love them. We got little tiny neon tetras. And look at these sword tails right here. The males have this line behind them. I bet you they're gonna make a lot of babies in here, that's for sure. As always, Andy hooked it up. So, you guys need anything, you're local here, or you know, you wanna drive down to Jupiter and get yourself some fish, head up Andy. We got our snails. And we got some food, because we always need more food. The fish tank needs a lot of food. It's like six cubes a day. Six little frozen cubes a day. We are good to go! That's my breakfast. I had some nice bagels. I've been running around like an absolute lunatic today. I've been going crazy. I got too many things to do and not enough hands. I need to expand the team. If anyone's looking for a great job, go to polkfailbrand.com. I'm just kidding. There's no job applications, but that would be dope. You can get merch there, though, if, 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 if you know, if you want to wear them. Let's go home! Alrighty. Eight turbo snails right here, ready to go in the tank. As you can see, the fish are hungry. Everything's hungry. What's new? They're always hungry. What I'm going to do, though, is get a little bucket. Oh, actually, I have one. We're going to put all the snails into here. Now we grab them out of the bucket and just place them on the rocks like this. You don't want to have them flipped over, but you also want to, these guys are connected to each other, look. Connected. Put that right there. How many more we got? I think we got, I think you got three more. Yep, three more right here. That was four. Put one up there, one right here. 
Another one right there. And that right there is how you do seven turbo Mexican snails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these things are massive. They're gonna start moving around. Actually, as a matter of fact, those guys already have their little eyeballs hanging out. And this guy's moving already. Look at the urchin. So cool looking. He's got all his little tentacles out. Our arrow crab is under there, up in there, right there. Everything is doing amazing. It's time to actually feed this tank. I love doing the spin the wheel videos, and if you enjoyed them, please do drop a like. Smash that like button. Smash it, smash it, smash it for me. Make sure to subscribe down below, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Yeah, he's in the rocks. He just likes to hide. I forgot to mention that as well. Didn't want you guys to think he was dead. He's good. There he is, right there. He actually thinks I'm about to feed him.